I'm Kang Kuen Ni. I'm a faculty in the chemistry department at Harvard University. In our daily life, we rely on molecules for everything, from energy storage like batteries to medicines, materials, sensors, and computing. However, to make these products, researchers have explored only a tiny fraction of the molecular space that is theoretically possible. There is a vast number of possibilities left to explore. In fact, the total number of possible molecular species is even bigger than the total number of atoms in the whole universe. If we could explore such a space more efficiently, we could discover useful molecules for a wide variety of purposes. Quantum computers, which perform computations in a much higher dimensional space than regular computers, could serve this purpose. The challenge is that basic computer elements, such as the physical bits of 1 and 0 and their logic gates between them, don't easily take advantage of quantum mechanical principles, which describe the behavior of matter at the microscopic level. So in order to move closer to creating a quantum computer, we need to work with systems that can exhibit these behaviors. Since we don't really see such systems in our daily life, in my lab, we have designed new tools to create them by cooling and building molecules at a temperature that is 0.000001 degree above the absolute zero temperature such that we can retain and observe their quantum mechanical behavior. One way we build these ideal designer molecules is by using advanced physics tools, including laser cooling to first bring atoms to hundreds of microkelvin. At this temperature, we can then confine them individually with optical tweezers, tweezers made from light. From there, we can have a source of single atoms. Using these tweezers, we can also move atoms around and place two of them or several of them close together. To make a molecule, we zap our atomic samples with the well-chosen color of light uh, to turn them into molecules. These techniques may sound like science fiction, but we've done them in our lab many, many times. With this technique, we can also test proof of principle concept for quantum computers. We're very excited to manipulate more and more molecules with this precise control and to discover their new properties and potential uses. We would like to thank the Dreyfus Foundation for their generous funding which enable us to pursue this exciting line of research.